Hello again and happy Friday. We finally survived this scorching hot West Texas week. We had yet another day with temperatures uh, topping the triple digits. I just can't get my words out this week. It's the heat, y'all, I promise. But right now, current temperatures across the board. The, out here in the Concha Valley, we're seeing quite a few places still in the 90s. 98 in El Dorado, 96 in Junction, even 94 in Mason. That's the coolest spot on the map. A nice 10 degree jump here in San Angelo, 104 degrees, and then 103 degrees up in Abilene. Now, as that cold front we've been talking about all week begins to approach us tonight, we are going to see overnight lows a touch cooler than they have been the past couple of nights. Up in the big country, they're going to be in the mid to upper 60s mostly, and then when you get to the Concha Valley, upper 60s to lower 70s. A few places to name, 71 is going to be the low here in San Angelo, 69 degrees up in Abilene. Snyder going to be one of those cooler spots, getting down as low as 62 degrees. Now, as we look ahead over the weekend, we do have some changes coming on Saturday. Temperatures are going to be starting to fall thanks to that cold front making its way into the picture. Otherwise, we'll have some sunny skies, a pretty nice day. On Sunday, we're going to see below average temperatures, well below average temperatures, and rain chances will start to increase overnight. As you see, Sunday's high only getting to the mid-70s. That's going to be a really powerful cold front coming through to bring us some much-needed relief here in West Texas. And along with those cooler temperatures, we're going to see increasing rain chances as well, with Monday being that day for the highest chance of widespread precipitation but rain chances will continue even into the middle part of next week now we are we do have some things we're most confident about and things we're not so quite confident about with this forecast the two things we're most confident about is that we will see some cooler temperatures following that cold front as you saw sunday's highs staying in the 70s and then we'll have those increasing rain chances over the next couple of days which you just saw a second ago the things we're not as confident about is rain coverage meaning who all is going to get some rain over the next couple of days and rain totals at the moment it's not exact about how much rain will be coming over the next couple days but we do know that rain is coming now here's a look at the setup for the next couple days as we track this cold front at the moment it's up in the texas panhandle still with this dry line sprung right directly in the center of our viewing area that dry line is what we were saying was going to feel some of those isolated rain chances this evening well when we wake up in the morning that cold front will be making its way into the big country as early as just after lunchtime, we'll see that front had made its way south of our viewing area with just the tail end of our counties being left to get in on that cooler air. That front would have made its way completely south of us by Sunday morning, which is why we're going to see such cooler temperatures behind it. And then we're going to stay pretty much on the cool side as we go throughout our week next week. Below average temperatures forecasted for every day until we get until Friday. That's when things will start to feel a little more like late May with those sunny skies. The same story in Abilene. They're going to be even cooler on tomorrow because that cold front is going to hit them first, only getting up to the lower 80s with sunny skies before they're back down into the lower 70s on Sunday, staying below average until we get to the end of next week with a little closer to average temperatures and sunny skies. Back to you, Maroon.